Good afternoon, Mr. Tiny, Mr. Rock. Good afternoon, Mr. Hello, Randy. Made it right before the late buzzer. All right, let's uh, mark Randy present. Oh, boy. Where's my attendance roster? There we go. And Randy, you're going to have to handle most of it with Mr. Rush as far as norms and announcements until other students arrive. Um, so we'll see how many points you can get today. Um, Rush, are you ready to take them through the basics? Oh, Hello. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. I know I seen them things moving. I'm like, I don't hear nothing. And my volume was down the whole time. Oh, okay. Randy. Randy. Monday. <laughs> What's up, Randy? You know the drill. We're going to read these norms, get these points. You know. Yo. Five behavior and academic norms. The five basic norms. No one has the right to hurt another person. Education and the classroom are sacred. We will never behave in a way that will discredit ourselves or school or our family. An Excel Academy of Southwest student always acts with integrity. We take pride in Excel Academy of Southwest. The five academic norms. We respect the opinions of others. We respect the culture of the classroom. We attend the participant. We have ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. We are here to focus on preparing ourselves for post endeavor. Uh oh, I think we lost. I think we lost him. All right. So uh, basically, this slide. I think Rush. He there he goes. So, yeah, the, 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 the internet cut off on me. <laughs> okay. You're back, though. You, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I'm waiting for the thing to look. There it is. All right. Woo! GGI Townhouse, Monday through Friday, 11.15 a.m. 
please be there. It is mandatory. Please tell your peers as well that it's mandatory that they need to be there. Uh, we have teachers that gives out, you know, credit towards assignments for participation and attendance. So take advantage of that. Um, you know, is like, again, this is where we announce important information and, you know, so you don't be left out the loop and you know what's going on, any upcoming events, et cetera. So please, please come to GGI Townhouse Monday through Friday, 11, 15 a.m. Raspberry Pi kits, if you do not have one, please let me and Mr. Tyler know so we can arrange for you to get one. If you do have one and it's having issues, please let us know so that we can troubleshoot it. If we if we are not successful at troubleshooting it, we can swap it out for you so that you can have one. Um, it's very beneficial and very important that you have a Raspberry Pi kit for numerous reasons. Uh, you know, in case your laptop goes out or something like that, you can jump on a Raspberry Pi kit. Uh, you may have assignments that come up that you need the Raspberry Pi kit, so you have to have it. So uh, speak up, let us know. Randy? Every Wednesday and Thursday, learn to code from the convenience of your home and get extra credit for some of your classes. The pandemic's effect on the coding job market, why learn to code? The surprisingly broad benefits of coding. Interested, join by clicking the link at 4 p.m. Daily tasks, students will be able to complete the evaluation in Edsby. Hello, all inspiring STEM students. Welcome to class. Inside of Edsby, you can access all pre-recorded videos of each class. These videos are normally ready to review by 4 p.m. daily. Hi. Got them taken care of. Okay. So, thank you for all the bits. She has work. Going computer screen. I might be scratched. It's all my code. It's daily. Most projects are possible to complete on the cell phone. However, functionality will be limited. Metro personal computer is required to take full advantage of the course. Computer science is a graduation requirement for the state of Illinois via the Board of Education. For questions or concerns, email me at mtyler at sayschools.com or reach out to me via SB Messenger. Okay, Rush, you're going to mute. They usually had a lot of background noise. You sure? My mic was muted the whole time. No, I muted it. But go ahead, Randy. Because <laughs> it was like a lot of chatter. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Students will be able to implement one-way synchronization between two sprites through message passing. Classroom term of the day is synchronization where the day is defiled. All right. Very good, Randy. Uh, so now we're going to go into... Um, the assignment, uh, Randy, are you logged into uh, Edsby? No. Wait, what did you say, Mr. Tyler? I said, are you are you logged into your Edsby student portal? Oh yes. Wait, student portal or just Edsby? I'm logged into Edsby. Just just Edsby right now, but you also gonna have to open up uh, MIT Scratch in a moment. Yeah, I got all that open already. Good. Okay, so it's not going to be a hard day on you. So um, one moment. I'm going to have you read one last thing. Then I'm going to give you time to work on it. You got a lot of points so far. I got to tally it up, though. Uh, so that part, and hold on. There's one more to this. This is worth uh, 35 points, Randy. I think you got close to a do now done or something saved. So you're doing pretty good. Um, did it go in the chat? Okay, so read all that for me, Randy, and then uh, we're going to go through um, with how to do this together and need some time to work on it. Hello and good day to all future computer scientists. You will need to create a Scratch account, MIT Scratch, and utilize a tutorial to create this project effectively. So the link to begin creating your project for today is MIT Scratch. Use the code to recreate, remix your own sprites and backdrop for the entire program. All segments of code need to be ready by tomorrow morning's class. Please keep in mind that you must choose your own sprites and backdrops for this project and our future project. Stay safe as well as warm out there and send.
awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's take a look here, Randy. If you clicked on the second link in the chat, where it says the link to begin creating your project, it should give you uh, the example code we're going to work on. And we're going to be doing things just a little bit differently. You're going to learn a new technique called remixing. And uh, the way that works, Randy, no, I don't want to open it up. The way that works, so first, you know, you go to Esby. I think you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Oh, they logged me out. Let me log back in real quick. Must have, That screen must have been uh, inactive for too long. And I'll do this. Oh, yeah, Mr. Time, I remember this from last semester. Oh, okay. So maybe you can fix it faster, but it's real easy how we're going to do it today. So do not um, just listen to me. You're, you're doing it a little bit differently. So once this is open, I think is this tab here. Let me get back to our class. So let's make sure everything's loaded. See, I remember it. So that's kind of cool. You remember this stuff. And I got to change this to part three. That's the actual name. I haven't fixed it yet, but I'm going to in a moment. All right. So you have up on your screen what I have on my screen, right, Randy? Do you see that I'm using or what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay. So what you're going to do is on your end, make sure you're signed into your Scratch account. And there's going to be a green button that says uh, Remix. Do you see it? Yes. Click on Remix. And it's going to make it your own. Now, I'm going to stop sharing, and I'm going to guide you through what you got to do, Okay. I want you to share your screen in one moment. I got to first turn it on. I think I turned them all off to be safe. Okay. All right. So we got that. All right. Now you should have the ability to share your screen, Randy. So let's see where you're at. And I want to make sure you remixed it correctly. And you're going to be using this for the rest of the week. And then next week we're using those kits. So I hope you're getting your kit ready. But um, share your screen as soon as you can and we'll walk you through what to do. Okay. Oh, Carson's finally come to class. Let me mark him present. Randy, I'm still working on you getting that screen shared. When you get a moment, Carson. I don't see his name yet. Pop up. Okay. There's Mr. Carson. Does your microphone work? I see your camera's on. Look at the ceiling. Are you? Are you you? Because all I see is the ceiling. Okay. Mark you present if you're not you. Okay, Mr. Carson, there's your microphone. Yeah. Okay, I'm just checking, doing my job. Um, let's see, you can mark him present. I'm gonna need you to try to stay in the camera. Uh, in the past, I've had issues with you disappearing on me. You disappeared last a lot last period, so that's you got to stop doing that because that's a red flag. And you came to class late, so it's hard for you to get caught up if you come to class late. Uh, let's see here. I'll put the link in there again for you. Class starts at 12.20, sir, not 12.35. Okay, wait a minute. This is the wrong thing. So, uh, Randy, what happened to your screen, my man? You was uh, supposed to show me uh, what you've done so I can, like, try to show you how to fix, finish the problem off. Are you there? Yes. Okay. So, should I tell my dad never mind or no? Okay. Still, uh, you having trouble sharing your screen? What's what's happening? Uh, let's put this here. So to get started, Carson, uh, this is what we already discussed uh, shoot, 15 minutes ago. Um, so you might want to click on that uh, so you can catch up to where we're at for today. It's in the chat. All right, so Randy, I think you're busy because you haven't shared your screen yet. I wanted to explain again one more time for everybody because uh, Carson just got here. Um, let me do my screen. Share my entire screen. I'm gonna do. So we're doing things a little bit different today. Uh, you're using a feature called Remix. It's a green button. You will not see this green button unless you're logged into your MIT Scratch profile. So in essence, you're going to click on that second link, which is the project you're working on today. You are to remix it first. And then I wanted to explain with Randy's screen, but I, th I think he's busy with something. Um, but I want you to share your screen in a moment. Do you see the link? Because I want to see you started it up, and then I want to show you how to remix it so you know how to do it. I, know, I don't know what to do. I want none of that today because I'm showing you what to do. You just got to pay attention. 
So uh, are you, are, is the share button on? Because I think you can share even if I'm presenting. Let me grab this and move it out the way so I can see his screen. Okay. Carson, do you know how to share your screen or no? First off, are you on your phone or your computer yeah. still? I'm on my computer. Okay, good. So, like, present your screen so I can uh, walk you through how to remix your project. You got to be logged into your Scratch account, though. Okay, you guys are not presenting. What happened? So, Randy, I'm doing a check because there's a lot of inactivity. My moving kind of slow. Okay, that's fine, but it, you know, you got to figure out how to make it present, or I can't give you points, right? Thank you, Randy. Uh, guys, I hear the excuses, but y'all, y'all know how to make a lot of things work. So you got to figure out how to make your equipment work. I'm not taking excuses. All I'm gonna do is just call home and be like, "Why is it not doing this?" Because we can't take the student's word for it. We will follow up and fix it, though. All right, so thank you, Randy. Um, what, you see the remix button up there? Did you? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So you remixed it. Now that you logged in, good. No, be paying attention to this, Carson, because you got to do the same thing. You just got to remember, because your computer moving slow or whatever. Um, okay, so Randy, don't forget, uh, go back to that. You had to share, uh, share that out so you can use it later. I didn't want you to forget that. A lot of y'all be forgetting. Now, real quick, Randy, don't stop sharing. I want you to show you exactly what to do. Go over there and maximize. It says saving project. Well, you went to see project. That's the same thing, but maximize the play button. You see that? He up here watching YouTube. That's why y'all don't be hearing me. Y'all doing what y'all want. I sell that. So open it up. You see the four arrows there? Maximize it. Come up some. No, no, I want you to make the project bigger. You see those four arrows? Well, not like that. <laughs> Scroll up. Okay, now you see right. No, 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 no. Come up. You see, you, you're doing what you want to do. Listen to what I'm telling you. Now, you see the four arrows? They go in different directions for maximization. Yep. Listen to what I'm telling you. This is what I'm talking about. All right, now, there we go. Now play it. Hit the green flag. Remember this is how we start the program? Program is initialized. Okay, you hit the flag for go. Good. Now, you see the play button for whack-a-mole. Hit that. You see, it does something, right? Now, I want you to hit the play button for cute cats play with feather toy. Nothing happens, right? This is your task today. You guys have to program it so that animation works. Now, you got to use the example code from Whack-A-Mole to figure out how to fix the cute cat one. All right? Hope that's clear what we're doing is how you get maximum points. You go uh, stop sharing, Randy. I hope, Carson, you're paying attention. Because I'm about to go through what else you have to do to get uh, maximum credit for this assignment. And we're going to review the objective and use some time to work on it in class. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Go. And that's one part. You got to make that. So after you remix it, like Randy did, you got to make the code work. Okay? And you got 10 minutes in class. So if you didn't even do the steps I showed you, I'm going to have a problem with you and your parent because it's like they're not doing their work while well, I'm telling them to do their work. They're doing other things. Turn off the YouTube. Turn off the Facebook. I, look, you're students. So when you disappear and you don't pay attention, you're only hurting yourself. Can't learn something if you're not paying attention. So let's go through it together a little bit. Uh, you click C inside to see the natural code. This is if you have my link going already. So I'm waiting for it to change screens. And uh, essentially, you should have remixed it, too. So it's your own code. Don't forget to click the share button that was orange. I think Randy did already, because you won't be able to sh share your code with me if you don't share it out to yourself, like in your projects. So I'm just waiting for my computer to catch up, because I could tell my kids keeping up with me. But this computer is like old man molasses. Oh, he's like intimidated with words and then it might start working because it knows it's in this pasture. All right, there we go. So like I said, you see the source code and you got, you don't have to do too much if you remix it. All these things are here for you. 
Now, you see the play button for the whack-a-mole and what it's supposed to do once that button is clicked. Now, the button for, uh, you know, whack-a-mole has its own, you know, the animation whack-a-mole has its own code. So you got these sprites you got to pay attention to. Now, if I hit this one, there's a comment. Kind of tells you what you need to do specifically. All right, and that's basically make this button activate this cat. You come to the cat situation, there's no code there. The easiest way to fix the code, and I'm, I'm hoping you're paying attention to what I'm talking about, is to try to recreate the same code for this whack-a-mole using the cats. All right, now you have everything you need. You, I showed you how to fix it. We're going to go over our objective for some points. But you should have at least had everything remixed and shared out and ready for share outs at the end of this clock. And look at this 12.43 and give you guys in max 10 more minutes on it to work on it along so you can figure it out. Now, there's one other thing you need to do. You need to put a character in here. So you got to add an additional character. And if you don't forgot how to do a character, you just go down to sprites. Right. And then you're going to add a person, whoever you choose, to say the word of the day, term of the day, and um, objective. They have to say it for at least four seconds on the screen. So here's how, and I'm going to start you off. I can click on a character, say, is such as Abby, right? Let's see if Abby populates. There she is. There she is on the screen. So I can put Abby right here. You guys should be doing this with me so you don't get confused. So I'm about to start a clock, and then some of you like, I didn't see that. Can you go back? Can you do it again? No, I'm be like, okay, they got to pay attention to class. That's a phone call home. All right, so let's put this here. And you got Abby now. You can put whichever character you want. And now, now that we have Abby selected, make sure in your sprite sections you do. We can add some say blocks, right? So first thing you want to do is give it a start point, or how will she begin talking? As soon as I hit the flag, right, that green flag we used before. That's what this but this block does. When the green flag is pressed, right, or clicked, oh, we lost Carson. Gonna be like, what are we doing? Uh, then what do I wanted to do? I'm gonna go to looks because I wanted to say something. I'm gonna grab this say block right here. I'm gonna put this here. Okay, this is where you would put your objective, and I don't mean the objective word. I mean the objective I gave on the screen. We're gonna cover it again. Next, you want to go to control and put a weight block. I'm just waiting for it to catch up to me. And we're going to snap the weight block on there to give it a couple of minutes to, you know, allow time before the next thing statement is made. You don't want it to run together. So we're going to put this here as, I don't know, give it three seconds at most. So this is two seconds. They'll say it. This is three seconds in between the weight. And then they'll say the next thing. So I'm going to quickly just duplicate this and duplicate this one. This is another technique if you use if you have your mouse, right? So put a weight there. And then here you could put the classroom term of the day. I hope you're paying attention, Randy, because this is going to be the only hard part that most people forget to do. Carson shouldn't have left because this is going to be something you should do. Yes. She wants me to put two things that shows the objective and everything. So you're gonna like you're gonna put the objective, the classroom mm -hmm. term of the day, and the word of the day, and its definition, right? You gotta look up the definition in Google. Let me duplicate this. There we go. And these don't have to be here. Okay. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what I did. I think you can see all that. All right, and uh, you got the classroom term of the day, and then you want to put the word of the day in here with its definitions. All right, so I'm gonna give you 10 minutes to work on this. Uh, you got to know what to do. Put a character in there after you remixed it, and then have that character say the objective, everything, classroom term, and word of the day, everything. Now, what was that stuff? Let me go back to this for you. All right, so I got to make it bigger. It's tripping right now. Let me fix this. Okay, so you are big time tripping. There we go. Come out. 
and we are and I wanted to come here because you got 40 points you're gonna get I was gonna split it between you and Carson but he left early okay we go and present okay all right and then I'm gonna click on me and for it to jump slides so there we are and this Okay, so Randy, you better get the bulk of the points, and then we're going to set a clock so we can check in on how far you've gotten. All right, so can you read that first one? Exploring computer science, MIT Scratch, and Microsoft make code projects are required daily. Most projects are possible to complete on the cell phone. However, functionality will be limited. A natural person of computers required to take full advantage of the course. Computer science is a graduation requirement for the state of Illinois via the Board of Education. For questions or concerns, email me at mtylerssayschools.com or reach out to me via SB Messenger. All right. And last one. Go ahead, take a stab at that. Wait, before I read this, Mr. Tyler, I'm going to take a picture of it. Oh, okay, because you know you got to use it. <laughs> That's smart. <Yeah. laughs> Go ahead. He said, let me take a picture of that. Today's objective, students will be able to implement one-way synchronization between two sprites through message passing. Classroom mm -hmm. term of the day is synchronization, where the day is defiled. Awesome. Okay, so you took a picture of that, so that means I can leave this other screen up, which is the code you can use. And don't forget, you can't just put the words in there, Randy. Like defile, you should have the definition in there. It says it. And then uh, same thing with um, uh, synchronization. What does it mean? The definition. So you should have those two things in each of those slots, and then the objective students will be able to in one slot of its own. Uh, the code you use, again, is here. We'll leave this up here and set a timer. So good luck. Let's see how far you get. Don't forget, you got to make this second animation work using the code from the whack-a-mole. 10 minutes, let's see if you can do it.
right, Randy, you there? I saw Carson came back, but he left again. Okay. I'm here, Mr. Tyler. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, Llewellyn, wow. Angelique, welcome to class. Okay, she wiped the cold out of us. You made it to class, though. Um, class starts at 12.30, Miss Lady. Is your brother going to sign um, in soon or later? Andrew? I have no idea. Okay. I have to think he got his computer. Okay, he has a computer, though? Yeah, okay. I don't think Okay, I need you to go ahead and read the screens for me because I'm going to get some points started for you. You get points for reading. So you see the screen? Yeah. Go ahead and read. MIT Scratch. MIT Scratch and Microsoft Make Code. Okay. MIT Scratch and Microsoft Got make code projects are required daily. Most projects are possible to complete on cell phones, however, functionally will be limited and actual personal computers are required to take full advantage of these courses. Computer science is a graduation requirement for the state of Illinois VA, the Board of Education. For questions or concerns, email me at Michael Tyler at, or reach out to me by asking All right, thank you. You got 20 points for that. Do you want to get another 20 points or no? All you do is read. Yes or no. I was going to go to Randy if you don't want to. Mr. Tyler. Huh? Mr. Tyler, I think I think I finished the project. Okay. Hold on, we gotta do this objective one more time. Um Angelique, you gonna read it or no? Yeah. Okay. Do this you be able to implicate one way. What's that say? Implement. Implement uh implement one way. Synchronization. Synchronization between two sprites. Sprites. Sprites through messages passing. Classroom terms of the of the day is then what is that again? Synchronization. Synchronization. Word of the day is the field. Defile. Defile. There you go. Okay. So uh Angelique, I'm gonna put the link we use. You came to class extremely late, but I'm glad you made it. Class is and I tell everybody this over and over. Some people are shooting themselves in the foot. Starts at twelve twenty, not twelve thirty, not one o'clock. If you're late it's, it's going to make you want to say a lot. I don't know what to do, or I, you're not going to be able to get away with it because you didn't come to class on time. So you missed something. And we can't always reteach. So try to be here on time because that's only going to be successful in class. And it keeps me from having to call you and your parents. So just, just do yourself a favor. That's only going to be successful. And you got to stay in class the entire time. Okay. Uh, so let me come out of this. Uh, you should have this information. And Randy, you said you're done with it, right? Are you finished? Are you close to done? Think you're able to share your screen for me so I can see how far you got? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I maybe think. Not done completely what, did, what did you say, Randy? So maybe I'm not done completely. Maybe I'm missing one thing. But. Okay. Well, let, let's take a look, though. Let us let me be the judge of that. All right. Uh, okay. Now, which sprite are you working on? Is it the whack a mole animation? No, you got. You're working on the second one, I guess? Yeah. Okay. So, so both of them work now or no? Yes. Well, okay. So first, I want to show you the sprite. Show okay. Me. Then, can Randy? Can you make it expand? Can you stretch it? You know how to do the four arrow thing again? Yes. It's in the court. In the court. Yeah. So there we go. All right. Whew. I was like, it's hard to see what's going on. Now, can you start the? Okay. Oh, you did get that part right. All right. What about the others? The word of the day and the. Did you? Oh, okay. You get the hang of it. Very good, Randy. Very good. You got all three parts. Now, what about the animation? Wait, you gotta, you gotta make it move. When you hit the play button, it should make the, the cat do something, right? Uh -oh. Well, yes. Yeah, so 
I think that's that's what I. So that's a part you gotta fix, right? Yeah, because look, I click this and it plays. Okay. You can see it, right? You see how it plays? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it does play. Okay, I, I didn't play last time. So you click that, but you gotta make it work with the play button. So did you make your other? Okay, so he keeps leaving. <laughs> the axe was going on with his internet at home. Um, so I right, hold on. So Randy, go back to your code. Okay, now that button, yeah, when you click, okay. So is that button finished though? That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Go back, go back. I something go, it is, it is. Go back to the other play button. The very first one. Aha, uh -huh, right? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I'm so fix it up. Fix it up. You almost done. All right. Now, Angelique, did you click on the link? Do you have a scratch account or no? Yeah, I can click on it. All right. Did it tell you you need a because you gotta make a scratch account, but that's just my example. So do you have one or no? No. Okay. Can you open uh share you want to share your screen on Google Meet? It's a present button at the bottom of Google Meet somewhere. Can you click on that and share with your screen out to us? Oh, she got a background. I'm like, what's going on there? That's pretty cool. So we're just waiting on her to share her screen. It won't let me. It's not letting you? Why not? Did you click on present and then it tells you which screen you want to show? Did you do entire screen? Okay. And after you did entire screen, another menu should pop up, right? And you click which one you want me to see. That's why it's not letting you. She said, oh, I saw her. Without her saying it, I saw go, oh. So now is it letting you? Because once you, oh, she got it. Oh, it's not that it wouldn't let you. You didn't know how yet. You got it now. So remember how to do that when we're in class, okay? Now, um, show me the, yeah, click on that tab. There we go. All right. So you don't even, you're not even signed in. I need you to create an account. You see where it says join Scratch? Yeah, I want you to create an account. And in SB, yeah, you got to start a whole new uh, account so you can do some of this work with us, all right? So once you do that, then I want you to watch today's video so you can try to do it on your own. But you just looked at my example. You can't even do my example unless you have your own Scratch account, okay? So set that up for me, and we class tomorrow, if you have trouble, we can talk it out. Do you understand? Um, your mic is on. Yeah, I understand. Cool. All right. So the videos, everybody, will always be in Edsby, and it's under your library. Let me, uh, Angelique, can you, oh, hold on, Angelique. <laughs> I'm about to give you some more points, but you, you stop sharing. <laughs> <laughs> she stopped sharing quick. So go to your SB real quick. I wanted to see, make sure you knew where the videos would be. <laughs> Can you share again? <laughs> she turned it off fast. There you go, Angelique. Okay. Log, log in to SB. I want to make sure you know where this is so you can always find the videos of class. Oh, boy. And, Randy, I think you know how to do this already, but she just got here, so I'm trying to help her out. All right, you're in there. Good. Now go to my class. We're in uh yeah, I got you twice. Oh lord. I gotta see you next period. Anyway, um, so you see where it says library there? Do you see the library, but uh, uh Angelique? Uh, no. Okay, come to the right. See where you see where it says journal, right? On the right hand side of your screen. This side? Yeah, so you see library? Yeah. Click on that. That's where the videos will pop up for class. Okay? The links that have GGI pictures are GGI. The links that are not, they're basically stuff from class, like the video, what happened in the chat, uh, a YouTube link sometimes. Okay? So you've been in class since last week. You're going to need to try to catch up using these videos. Give them a try when you can. But first, work on today's video which should be available at about, I want to say, maybe uh, 4, 4 o'clock, okay? All right. Which video? Right. Huh? Which one is it? Uh, it's named by date. So if you, for instance, oh, you hover okay. over that one, uh, I think the, the second one, second selection, you see where it says physics with algebra? If it says that, you know it's a video section. All right. So click on it. Click on that, that title, and I'll give you an idea. Yeah. So now you see the files inside of that day. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's the classroom. Those are the notes. 
in the chat and you should get a video. Yeah, that's the video. It's going to take some time to load. All right. So if you have trouble looking at or viewing certain things, let me know. Uh, Randy or or uh, you two can, well, I'm going to give you one of both 20 points each, but we review the objective. Um, and then I wanted to do, you raise your hand, <laughs> Angelique. Did you that's mean right. to do that? Oh, okay. That's when you have a question. <laughs> okay. She lowered her hand. All right. <laughs> She's getting the hang of it. Um, let me go back one. All right. So you guys should still see my screen. No, not yet. I got to share, huh? Says I got to resume presentation for you all. So here we go. Okay. So our last opportunity for points. And then I'm gonna get you guys ready for next period. Angelique, I'll see you the next period. I hope you have the information to get there. Uh, but go ahead, uh, Angelique, read this for me again. I want you to get used to it. And it's a 20 points. MIT Jet Scratch and Microscope. Microsoft. Microsoft. I mean, sorry. <laughs> It's okay. Microsoft. Microsoft. There you go. Projects are required daily. Most projects are possible to complete on a cell phone. However, function will be will be limited. An actual personal computer is required to take full advantage of the course. Computer science is a graduate requirement for the state of Illinois VA. The Board of Education for questions or any concerns, email me at your email <laughs> <laughs> or reach out to me via <laughs> she said your email all right i, I accept that <laughs> all right so you know how to reach me on that end and they got 20 points for reading it there's a lot of points for just reading i'm real big on making sure students can read especially for sats coming up right oh uh, by the way if you are a senior you know sat testing is tomorrow that's the second round of testing so make sure you signed up for it if you're not already you might want to call mr funes second part before we get out of here is this one for 20 points? Who's going to read it? Is either Randy or Miss Llewellyn? Mr. Tyler, you wanna you wanna see one more time? I fixed it. Well, you wanna read this first and then um oh, we yeah. can look at it. Okay. Today, today's Jesus, okay. students will be able to implement one way synchronization between two spies to go message passing. Classroom term of the day is synchronization, where the day is defiled. Very good. All right. Now you wanted to show what you got. You can go ahead and take the floor by just presenting. And let's take a look and see if you made it work. If you did, you got all the points. And then all you do is show the link in your SV and I'm good. Well, you're good because you didn't get like all the credit. You did good today, Randy. You was on point. I just got to work on your attendance. You get you in class on time. <laughs> you be sliding at the last minute. Oh, you hit the button and it did work. Whoa, you, you did. You got it. And whack-a-mole still works. I want to see if you mess something up. Okay. All right, can you start it from the beginning where it shows the words? I want to see if you got all the points. Stop it. Now you play. Uh, oh my goodness. All right. Okay, Randy. You the man. All right. Now do you know how to share it back out to me? You gotta like minimize it. Go to the four arrows in the center and minimize it. And you know how to get to the link, right? So see project page. Oh, you go a different route. Okay. Uh, well, all you do is go to C project page, Randy. C C project page. Oh. It's right in the middle. Yeah. Uh huh. There you go. You see where it says copy link. Yeah. Remember that process. Now you're gonna need that. Now copy link. And well, I want you to just go. To, he already know. Okay. Find the assignment. This is for Miss Llewellyn, so you know exactly how to turn in your work. But you gotta make that scratch account first. Okay. And where's the assignment at, Randy? Yeah. Well, you went to the townhouse. This one, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. And where do you put it, Randy? Let's see if you remember. Okay. Okay. You got okay. You the man. You the man. Wait for it to load, Randy. You move it too fast. There you go. Go ahead and add it. All right. And submit. And I'll grade it tonight, man. All right. What great, great job. <laughs> All right, Randy. I have nothing else, man. You did awesome. You, you're free to go, Randy. And I like Randy, thing, Mr. Tyler. All right, get ready for your next period, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Angelique, you have any questions for me? Do you know how to get to my class next period with, with you, or do you have that information? No, I don't know. You don't have the next period link? Okay. So uh, put, do me a favor. I'm going to add you to the calendar again. 
Um, can you put your current email address you're using to get in this room in the chat? So I want to make sure it's correct when I send it to you. You got it, though. Um, the chat is unavailable. Oh, my goodness. All right, how about now? So I do have you for fourth period. I thought right. on your schedule. I just want to be sure. That's what we're going into next. I'll make sure you have the link so you can get in there. So let me do Llewellyn and make sure I didn't see nothing. I'm pretty sure I saw your name listed for both classes. Then we got to work on your brother. His butt in the class. Okay. Um... Yeah, I do. I got you for fourth period, which is pretty much engineering. Okay, so wait. Oh, no, Angelique, you missed. Okay, no, no, I don't have you, but you missed a second period. That's what happened. Okay. So you were in physics. You know, this is this is third period we're in, right? So I'm going to add you to the, the physics, and you try to make it tomorrow. I got you for two periods, all right? You see the schedule? Yeah. Okay. So let me add you to your you're in your email. I'm gonna send you an invite. I want to make sure you got it. Uh, is your email address in the chat? Did you do that already? Let me come here yeah. and look. Okay. Well, give me a second. I gotta grab it. So the rest of the quarter, I'm gonna see you uh, second period and third period. So that's physics and can and computer science. You're gonna be a smart gal. Okay. What did you do here? Like this girl. <laughs> so you want me to figure out how to do your email? You got it broken up like. <laughs> Come on now. I can do it the right way. Stop that. Like you want me to figure out your email. Type your email in correctly the right way, Angelique. She's gonna send me two parts of the email. Figure it out. <laughs> Type it correctly. Take your time so I can send you this uh link real quick. As soon as you get that done, as soon as I can get you out of here. Uh physics, I need to add her to this section. Just froze on me. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. Now let's see if she got it. I'm ready to add her. All right. You sure this is correct? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna grab this. And I want you to tell me when you get the email invitation for physics with algebra. Okay. Add your name. I already added you. Okay. Let me see here. Maybe you just didn't see it. Let's send it again. Save. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this to make sure I send it out again. Some people forgot. It's no problem. FYI, this is second period. Or physics. You're in third period now though. Send that out. And your brother should get it too. Okay. All right. Let me know if you got the email. I got it. Good. All right. So you're free to get ready for your next period. Do you know where your next period is? It's not me. It's uh, somebody else. Um, um, Fourth period. What are you? Uh, um, biology. Okay. So that's Miss Lane, right? Yeah. All right. Did she send you a link? Um, I have to see. You're in your email? Yeah. Okay. So if you can't find it in your email, you can always reach out to our Esby and I'm gonna text the staff to let them right. know. I think I got it. You found it? Yeah. Okay. It's biology classroom link. Uh-huh. Okay. That's where you gotta go. It's huh? environmental science. So you got biology or environmental science? Which one? Those are two different classes. Fourth period, where are you going? That's what I'm trying to make sure of. Um, well, SB is say biology. So that means you got the wrong, you got, you probably have her twice, it sounds like. Is that what happened? 
Let's see here. Yeah, you got her first period. So you found your first period class. <laughs> you got to find your fourth period. <laughs> so you got to find biology. Environmental science is your first period class. I'm looking at your schedule. Uh, okay, I see it. You see uh, the biology link? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You get, get in there and don't get confused. Even if it's a weight room, get in there and use that because it starts at 1.30, Angelique. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. All right.